She was a dedicated mom and a beloved librarian, and now her loved ones are saying goodbye. Today, the Polk County Sheriff announced new charges against four teens connected to the case. Suzette Penton died last week after being run over, and the sheriff says an 18-year-old was behind the wheel. Fox 13's Evan Axelbank is live in Tampa with more on the story. Evan. Well, the librarian's friends are remembering her as a one-of-a-kind tonight, and they're also hoping that the teens face justice. Martina Gagelman used to go to the library twice a week. Every time a new book would come out, Suzette would be like, oh, you've got to try this. She hasn't been back since her friend, the librarian Suzette Penton, was hit by a car November 9th. You know that when I open the door, I'm going to look straight for her desk, and I'm not going to see her sitting there. I'm not going to see her smiling face. The Polk Sheriff says the smile was snuffed out by four teens who went to her home in a church van and attacked her son over a romantic relationship. As Suzette, a mother of two, ran after them, deputies say 18-year-old Elijah Stanzel ran her over as she tried to take pictures of the van for evidence. Some of it was caught on video. At 18 years of age, you're running over a mama? A city librarian who's doing nothing but trying to take photographs and so she can later identify who came into her house and to beat up her son. Martina says children, and not just her own, were Suzette's life. She says Suzette kept track of the children whose parents didn't have the money for summer camp and planned activities for them. She wanted kids to know that there is a world beyond PlayStation, Xbox, Facebook. She wanted them to realize the potential that they had within themselves to be creative. The loss of Suzette won't just be felt by her kids, her family, or her friends. They took an exceptionally loving, big-hearted woman that would give you the shirt off her back to help you. Elijah is the only one who is charged with murder. The other three are charged with attempted murder. There will be a, cele a celebration of life for Suzette on December 6th. All members of the community are being invited to attend. The sheriff made a point in saying that because she is so well loved. We have more information on that uh, celebration of life on our website, fox13news.com. Kelly, back our to you.